For millennia, the Tamil identity has stood as one of humanity's oldest living cultural lineages, its language, literature, and traditions surviving where countless civilizations faded into memory. Yet today, science offers an entirely new lens to revisit this extraordinary antiquity. DNA, the most precise chronicle of human history, allows us to trace movements, encounters, and continuities invisible in written records. The question arises, what do the genes of Tamils truly reveal about their past? Recent breakthroughs in genetic research suggest answers that are both surprising and profound, challenging long-held assumptions while affirming the unbroken depth of Tamil civilization's origins. Tamilakam, the ancient homeland of the Tamil people, flourished as one of the most remarkable centers of human civilization. During the Sangam era roughly between 500 BCE and 500 CE, Tamil society reached extraordinary levels of sophistication. The Sangam poems, among the oldest bodies of secular literature in the world, described thriving cities, bustling ports, and a society deeply engaged in trade, art, and philosophy. Archaeological findings confirm this literary brilliance. Urban settlements with planned streets, drainage systems, and evidence of literacy and craft specialization. Ports such as Kaveri Puttanam and Mazyris connected Tamalakam to Rome, Greece, Egypt, and Southeast Asia, making the region a key hub in global maritime networks. At the heart of this civilization stood the Tamil language, recognized today as one of humanity's classical tongues. Unlike Latin or ancient Greek, which became languages of the past, Tamil continues to live, evolve, and be spoken by nearly 90 million people. Its continuity from the Sangam era to the present is unparalleled, making it both a cultural and linguistic time machine. Excavations at Kiladi in southern Tamil Nadu have revealed urban settlements dating back more than 2,600 years, with artifacts showing literacy, crafts, and cultural links to the Indus Valley civilization. This raises fascinating possibilities. Was Tamil a living descendant of the Indus Valley linguistic and cultural tradition? Though debates continue, the parallels are compelling. What makes the Tamil case unique is its unbroken thread of continuity. Civilizations from Mesopotamia to Rome rose and vanished, their languages fading into silence. Tamilakam, however, preserved not just its culture, but its living language, texts, and traditions. The Tamil world offers scholars a rare opportunity, a civilization where ancient memory is not merely reconstructed from ruins, but still spoken, sung, and lived every day. Around 65,000 years ago, some of the earliest modern humans walked out of Africa and entered the Indian subcontinent. Among their destinations was the southern tip of the peninsula, where groups of hunter-gatherers settled and thrived. These pioneering settlers became the genetic foundation of what scientists today call the Ancestral South Indians ASI, a population that forms the deepest layer of South Asian ancestry. Unlike later arrivals, the ASI are not a blend of other populations, but a direct continuation of those early humans, carrying some of the world's oldest unbroken genetic lineages. Centuries later, another distinct ancestral group, the Ancestral North Indians ANI, emerged through mixtures involving Central Asian and steppe pastoralists. While most North Indian populations today carry significant ANI ancestry, southern populations, particularly Tamils, remain far more strongly linked to the ASI. In fact, many genetic studies consistently show that the Tamil gene pool retains the highest proportion of ASI ancestry among all major Indian populations. The evidence comes from cutting-edge ancient DNA studies. Remains from the Indus Valley site of Rakagari show strong genetic ties to southern ASI-related groups. Similarly, skeletal DNA from South Indian sites confirms deep continuity with those earliest settlers. Unlike the genetic shift seen in northern India due to repeated waves of migration, southern India demonstrates remarkable stability. For Tamils, this means their genetic roots lie closer to the original inhabitants of South Asia than those of most northern groups. Tribal Tamil communities, such as the Irula and Paniya, preserve especially high ASI ancestry, providing a living genetic window into humanity's earliest dispersals. Far from being a peripheral story, 
Tamil DNA represents one of the most ancient and continuous threads of human history, stretching unbroken from the first settlers out of Africa to the modern age. The Indus Valley Civilization, flourishing between 2600 to 1900 BCE, remains one of the great puzzles of ancient history. Its vast urban centers, Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro, and Dalavira, displayed remarkable sophistication, grid-planned streets, advanced drainage, standardized weights, and far-reaching trade. Yet the most tantalizing question persists, who were the people of the Indus, and what became of them? Modern genetics is beginning to provide answers. In 2019, a landmark nature paper published the genome of a woman buried at Rakagari, one of the largest Indus Valley sites. The results were striking. Her DNA showed a mixture of ancestry from ancient Iranian-related agriculturalists and indigenous South Asian hunter-gatherers, closely aligned with the ancestral South Indian, ASI, genetic profile. Crucially, there was no detectable steppe pastoralist ancestry, which only entered northern India centuries later. This finding strongly suggests that the Indus people were genetically closer to the populations that would later dominate southern India, including the ancestors of present-day Tamils. Linguists have long proposed a Dravidian connection to the Indus Valley. Though the Harappan script remains undeciphered, many scholars argue it reflects a proto-Dravidian language. Structural patterns in the symbols, combined with cultural continuities in agriculture and religion, strengthen the case. If true Tamil, the oldest surviving Dravidian language, would represent the strongest living descendant of that lost linguistic tradition. Genetic data support this continuity. Modern studies show that South Indians, particularly Tamil groups, carry between 60 to 75 percent of their ancestry from populations closely related to the Indus Valley people. In contrast, northern populations absorbed much higher proportions of steppe ancestry, which diluted their Indus genetic legacy. Thus, Tamils today may preserve not only cultural, but also genetic echoes of the Harappan world. Through them, the Indus Valley civilization continues to live, not as a vanished mystery, but as an enduring lineage woven into the Tamil identity. Around 2000 BCE, a massive demographic shift reshaped the genetic and cultural map of northern India. Pastoralist groups from the Central Asian steppes, often linked with Indo-European language expansion, migrated into the subcontinent. Their genetic imprint, known as steppe ancestry, became a defining component of what scholars call the Ancestral North Indians, ANI. This ancestry blended with the older Indus Valley populations, eventually forming much of the northern Indian genetic profile. In contrast, southern India, including Tamilakam, remained far less affected by these migrations. Multiple genome-wide studies show that modern Tamil populations retain 70 to 80 percent ancestry from ASI-related groups, with only a minor contribution from ANI and almost negligible step input. This explains why Tamils appear genetically closer to the earliest South Asian settlers than to Indo-Aryan groups of the North. Within Tamil Nadu itself, variations exist across subgroups. Tamil Brahmins tend to carry slightly higher ANI ancestry, around 40 to 45 percent, reflecting historical interactions with northern migrants. Non-Brahmin groups typically show 20 to 30 percent ANI ancestry, while tribal communities such as the Irula, Paniya, and Palir preserve some of the purest ASI lineages known, with ANI admixture dropping below 10 to 15 percent. These differences offer a genetic mirror to social stratification. The question of caste has deep genetic dimensions. Studies by the Reich Lab and others indicate that endogamy, marrying strictly within one's group, became widespread in India around 2,000 years ago. This practice effectively locked in the existing genetic differences between subgroups, creating the sharp genetic boundaries that still exist today. In Tamil Nadu, this process reinforced distinctions between Brahmin, non-Brahmin, and tribal populations, while still preserving the overwhelmingly ASI heritage that unites them. Thus, while northern India carries the strong imprint of steppe migrations, Tamil populations remain living evidence of South Asia's earliest genetic foundations, complex, layered, but still deeply rooted in antiquity. Among the vast mosaic of Indian populations, 
Tamils stand out as one of the least admixed genetic groups in the subcontinent. Unlike the North, where successive migrations repeatedly reshaped the genetic landscape, Tamil populations exhibit extraordinary continuity from the Mesolithic period to the present day. Archaeogenetic data from southern India demonstrate that hunter-gatherers who lived there over 10,000 years ago contributed directly to the ancestry of Iron Age and even modern Tamil groups. Few regions in the world show such a clear and unbroken lineage. This continuity persisted despite Tamilakam's openness to the wider world. During the Sangam era, Tamil ports welcomed merchants from Rome, Greece, Egypt, Arabia, and Southeast Asia. Archaeological finds, from Roman coins at Madurai to Amphorae at Arakamidu, testify to intense cultural and commercial exchanges. Yet, genetic studies reveal that these encounters left virtually no lasting impact on Tamil DNA. The Tamil genetic profile remained overwhelmingly shaped by its ancestral South Indian base, with only negligible contributions from foreigners. Why did Tamils resist dilution where others did not? Several factors likely contributed. First, the sheer demographic weight of the ASI-related population in the South meant small numbers of migrants could not significantly alter the gene pool. Second, strong cultural cohesion, anchored in language, social organization, and endogamy, created barriers to large-scale assimilation. Even as Tamil culture absorbed foreign influences in trade, religion, and art, its genetic core remained intact. This resilience makes Tamil populations a living genetic archive. While many civilizations vanished or merged into newcomers, the Tamil genetic identity endured with remarkable stability. It is this balance, absorbing global currents culturally while preserving ancestral DNA biologically, that defines the unique story of Tamil continuity in human history. Recent genome-wide studies by institutions such as Harvard's CCMB and the Reich Lab have shed striking new light on Tamil genetics. Across India, all populations are mixtures of two ancestral streams, Ancestral North Indians, ANI, and Ancestral South Indians, ASI. But Tamils, far more than most groups, retain exceptionally high proportions of ASI ancestry, often above 70%. This makes them genetic heirs of South Asia's earliest settlers. The most astonishing findings come from tribal Tamil groups, such as the Palir and Irula. Their genomes reveal ancestry that is almost purely ASI, with little or no admixture from later migrations. These lineages are among the rarest genetic reservoirs in the world, offering scientists a direct link to populations that first left Africa tens of thousands of years ago. Compared to modern North Indians, whose ancestry reflects heavy steppe and ANI influence, Tamils share closer genetic affinity with ancient South Asian hunter-gatherers. This places them not just as a regional community, but as guardians of some of the oldest surviving human genetic signatures. The implication is profound. Tamil DNA functions as a living time capsule preserving echoes of humanity's earliest migrations and offering a unique window into our shared prehistoric journey. The story of Tamil origins is not merely a regional chapter, but a central strand in the grand narrative of human migration. Genetic research has revealed that Tamils are among the closest living descendants of South Asia's earliest settlers, carrying within them one of humanity's most ancient and continuous lineages. This survival is extraordinary. While countless civilizations rose and vanished, the Tamil genetic legacy endured largely intact. What makes these findings even more striking is how they echo the claims of Tamil literature. From the Sangam poems to later classical texts, Tamil culture has celebrated its own unbroken antiquity. Modern science now confirms this intuition, showing that Tamil DNA preserves both the depth of human prehistory and the resilience of a living civilization. Tamil identity, therefore, is not only linguistic and cultural, but profoundly genetic. It demonstrates how a people can remain deeply rooted in their ancestral soil while also engaging dynamically with the wider world. In this sense, Tamils embody continuity itself. To study Tamil DNA is to look into the deepest mirror of human history, one that reflects not just the journey of a single people, 
but the survival of humanity's oldest memories written in our very genes.